Your heart is beating so fast that you can barely feel your legs. Like all the blood has been diverted elsewhere. Oh, I think I know where it's uh, diverted to. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Validate. <laughs> so we're in a very uh, spicy, spicy, spicy situation. <laughs> so we're pretty much looking at Anaya's point of view in this whole thing between her and Amhari. Now, I found out a few days ago that I was pronouncing Amari's name wrong. <laughs> it's actually Amhari, not Amari. So um, I'm going to correct myself and actually pronounce it properly. Um, so it's actually Amhari. And uh, Arihi is, I believe, Arihi, which I was kind of close. I was kind of close, but I'm going to try my best to pronounce everyone's names properly because I want to make sure that, you know, I'm not spreading misinformation about their name. <laughs> But I am curious to see what Anaya has to say about this whole encounter. And yeah. <laughs> you resist glancing over your shoulder. Like, this is a cartoon, but it's narrow. They couldn't be talking to anyone else. They are looking straight at you. Uh, they're $12. And they laugh. Pretty standard for this part of town. Gin and tonic? You nod. The person flags down the bartender way faster than you did, standing up on their tiptoes and getting in their face. They turn back to you once they've put the drink or orders in. I'm Amhari. Anaya. You offer to shake hands, which feels silly, but Amhari doesn't hesitate. Their hands are incredibly smooth. Ooh. Do you, uh... Can you tell me your your pronouns? You wince internally. You always feel embarrassed when you ask this in real life, even though you shouldn't. Even though it's a completely normal and socially acceptable thing to say, you still hear your dad sneering about political correctness gone wild. Amhari doesn't blink. She or he, just mix it up. You? Oh, uh, she is fine. You go by they online, but you don't like to be annoying in real life. <laughs> and you hate that you think you annoy people. Basically, how you feel about your gender is an endless Russian nesting doll of embarrassment. Shame and shame at your embarrassment. And now you've absolutely missed whatever Amhari has said because you're too busy feeling weird about yourself. Story of your life. Damn, so she didn't even hear that conversation or spiel she was saying. <laughs> Sorry, what? I asked, do you come here often? As a joke, you know. Oh, she said the joke. See, she was actually in her head. So it's not that your joke wasn't funny. She literally wasn't paying attention to you. <laughs> but now that I have to repeat, I'm realizing that probably the only thing more annoying than asking someone if they come here often is joking about whether they come here often. <laughs> well, I don't come here often. This is my first time. Are you here alone? No, my f my friends are here. Well, friend, and he has people who are more fun than I am, so... Well, that's his loss. I'm having a great time with you. Do you? Do I what? Come here often? The strobing, swinging lights highlight his cheekbones. He has a killer profile. More often than I probably should. The drinks appear on, on, on the bar top considerably faster than they had when you ordered for yourself, even though there were two. Well, Amhari is just drinking something in a can, so probably not much of a pain to prepare. Um... Ooh, don't be nosy. Ask what he's drinking. Um, I'm nosy as hell. Let's ask what he's drinking. <laughs> what are you drinking? That's a normal thing to ask, right? Oh, it's just seltzer. I don't drink. Is it a religious thing or? Nope, it just makes me feel sick. 
Oh, you feel a little awkward. Chances are your drink costs him like 10 times more than his seltzer. You pick up your glass and resolve to drink slower this time. You keep expecting for Amhari to leave, but he bought you a drink. That means he's interested in you, right? Or maybe he was just being polite because you're so very obviously not in your elements. No, Amhari wants to get in your pants. <laughs> you accidentally take another huge gulp of your drink. The lights are beginning to go streaky in the corner of your vision. Oh, yes, yes, oh, yes, yes. Do you want to dance? Oh, yes, please. Oh, do you want to dance? Oh, I wouldn't have asked if I didn't want to. Uh... Okay, I guess. Fair warning, I am bad at it. Nobody is actually good at dancing to dance music. That's why it's all rhythm. It's the great equalizer. True statement. <laughs> Are you a musician? No, I just like to dance. C come on. <laughs> he drains his drink in one gulp, which you take as license to do the same. She's about half your size, but evidently he holds his liquor a lot better than you do. Of course, you clearly shouldn't l listen to him when he says that dancing prowess the, the doesn't matter. Of course it does. He's probably an amazing dancer. She looks like it. He has the body for it. And she is. The thing is, dancing with him makes you feel like you might be a good dancer too. It's not like you have no rhythm or you dance like one of those straight guys who sort of just sway from side to side. <laughs> just, you've always felt like you're a little too big to be much good at dancing. You take up too much space. You're all elbows over, over the place. With Amhari, you don't think about that too much until you step on someone's foot. Ouch. Oh, hey, Alex. How's it going? Sorry, my bad. Alex? Alex looks down at you. His hair is a sweaty disaster. Eyeliner running slightly from one eye. You're dancing? Like it's hard. He grins. Without realizing it, you and Amhari have opened up a little bit to allow Alex to join your circle. Now all you need is someone in the middle and this will be like one of those break dancing circles the kids used to get into during middle school dances. Dude, I loved the like circles. Oh my God, the dance circles. I love those so much because I, I would always throw myself in the center. <laughs> and I just, I would just go with the flow with the music and dance and stuff. Like, uh, I love dancing. <laughs> Who's your friend? What? You can't hear anything over the pounding music. Alex just shakes his head. Maybe it's the alcohol or maybe it's the reassuring presence of your best friends and the hottest person you've seen in a while, but you get lost in it. The music, the movements, the sensation of momentarily existing out of time. <laughs> maybe this is why people go to clubs in the first place. Ooh, ah! <laughs> when you dance at home, it's always <laughs> to work out a little bit of tension in between doing work or chores or worrying about doing work or chores. Here, your mind goes astonishingly blank. Somehow, you end up pressed up close to Amhari, pinned by the crowd and separated from Alex. From the look on his face, he doesn't mind at all. Ooh, uh, he's looking at your mouth. Ooh, mm, ooh, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Or maybe she's just looking straight ahead. You're about the same height, so that would make sense. F what if he tries to kiss you? Well, so what? You definitely are not going to freak the f out this time. You, you can kiss someone and be normal about it. You are a grown woman. That's right. <laughs> you are so convinced that he is going to kiss you that you are absolutely unprepared when he leans in and goes for your ear in, in, instead of your mouth. Oh, 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 Amhari. I kind of want to leave. Oh, Amhari, Ooh, you dirty. Dirty, dirty little person. <laughs> I kind of want to leave. 
He is pressed as close as she can in order to not be overheard. The music is, if possible, even louder than before. Oh. You feel a bite of disappointment deep inside you. Immediately overwhelmed by shame. Idiot, why in the world would someone like him want someone like you? But then he keeps talking. Do you want to get out of here? You do, in fact, want to get out of here. <laughs> You're beginning to sober up, the edges of your anxiety creeping back in. You could push yourself back to the crest of the wave with a, 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 another drink, but that would be another 12 American dollars and you would regret it in the morning. Do you want to get out of here with Amhari? Absolutely. Half of you absolutely wants to do that. And that part of you nods your head before the other half can start freaking out about it. You grab up the last strings of your buzz and shoulder yourself through the seething crowd, trying to locate Alex to let him know that you'll be leaving with someone and if you don't need a ride home. Here, come on. Uh... Grab, grab, uh, grab his hand. Unthinkingly, you grab Imhari's wrist to keep him close in the crowd. His fingers slip in into yours and a shivering bolt of heat rolls down your spine. Okay, <laughs> oh, I know exactly. Okay, I know that feeling exactly. Like, um, I used to go to a lot of a anime convention raves, right? And a lot of the times, <laughs> when you find just that one like dance partner on the dance floor, like it's just. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. It's something about like being at like a rave, a dance club, or something like that. When you're like with that person and you just like grab hands like hold you know you just grab hands knowing what the intentions are with that <laughs> it's just you just get this like like some people get goosebumps your body just heats up like your breathing starts to get heavy and things like that and like your heart beat just keeps going and going like it it's an experience and it's definitely an, an experience people should experience at least once in their lives. Just that pure, like, bliss. I feel everyone needs to experience. <laughs> of course, safe. Of course, in, in, in a safe environment, of course, you know, with consent. But, like, it is, it's amazing. <laughs> what are you doing? He says it against your ear. More whispery than is probably strictly necessary. I'm looking for Alex. I want to tell him not to wait for me. Can't you just text him? Wow, you totally could do that. Yes, actually. That would be the ideal decision because then you wouldn't have to explain where you're going. And he wouldn't express condescending shock that you actually might be getting laid. <laughs> and you wouldn't have to explain to Amhari how absolutely rarely you go home with people from clubs. Rarely, as in never ever. So you let Amhari drag you in the opposite direction and out into the breezy evening. At least you haven't sobered up completely. If you had, you might start worrying that this tiny person is in fact a serial killer who is planning to slice you open and play with your insides. And that's the reason that he hadn't wanted to bother finding Alex. Okay, that's a little too much. <laughs> Anaya. <laughs> Isn't this what sex murderers do? They go for someone uglier than them so the person doesn't feel a any worry, just gratitude, or maybe that's just something you made up right now. Out of sheer nervousness and crappy self-esteem, th that is something you definitely made the f*** up. <laughs> did you, did you drive here? Amhari squeezes your hand. You realize that she hasn't let go of you since you left the club. Yeah, but we should go to your place instead of mine. Well, that's slightly better, y you think. Not that he couldn't kill you at, at, at your place, just you don't have any sort of kill room set up. And you've got a bunch of streaming equipment, so you could always trick him into thinking that you're constantly broadcasting to the world. Wow, your head is really getting away from you tonight. Your anxiety is f up 
off the charts. Maybe you should tell Imhari that you can't, that you're too much of an absolute freak. Why would he want to go home with someone like you? Uh, other people do this all the time. Other people hook up and it's fine. You, you force yourself to breathe through your panic. There's absolutely nothing to panic over. You realize that Amhari is still waiting for an answer, standing there with his keys in his hand. Right, he needs to know in which direction to drive. Sure, just, it's kind of a mess. I don't mind messy. Your face burns. Oh, okay. God, you hate that you get like this. Typically, you are incredible at making dirty jokes or at least playing off someone else's. You grew up on the internet. People being s suggestive doesn't get to you. Well, it normally doesn't get to you, you think, as you slide into Amhari's passenger seat. But this always happens. As soon as you get into a situation where it's not just f***ing around or not just flirting, you freeze up. Ooh. Ooh, uh. Oh, car scene? <gasps> car scene! Oh, you get a virginal, even though you aren't. You've always been like this. You keep waiting for it to get easier, but it never does. Not really. Sometimes you wonder if you're ace, but you don't really think it's that. There has never been a single part of you, your gender, your sexuality, your f national identity that can be put in, in, in a single box or even a simple label. The two of you chat a little on the way over to your place and it calms you down a, a little bit. Honestly, you start to realize how stupid you are being. Amhari is nice, she's good looking, and he appears to like you. Possibilities of him being a, a serial killer notwithstanding. <laughs> he answers all of your questions easily, but you still get the impression that he doesn't particularly want to talk about himself. That's fine. You get that. You don't really much feel like telling him you're an Instagram streamer who recently hasn't been able to get through a single stream. It's okay, man. We, we all have bad content creation days. He doesn't comment on your messy kitchen or the snarl of computer chargers and USB cords on your on, on, on your coffee table. He doesn't even wait for you to turn on any lights. He backs you up against the door and kisses you. Ooh, uh, ooh, no! We didn't get a picture last time! Oh, yes! Ooh, uh, spicy! Uh, ooh, uh, SFW, uh, yes! What? <laughs> Dude, I'm Hari! Ooh, uh, yes! Oh, this is spicy. Okay, let me switch. <laughs> Distantly, you hear the air conditioner click off, the slow settling of the house around you. Amhari is a far better kisser than you are, but he doesn't seem to mind taking charge. Oh, yes! So, any likes or dislikes I should know about? Hmm? <laughs> I'm flustered right now. Oh, yes! His hands move from your shoulders up to cup your cheeks. Any parts you don't want me to touch? Oh, no, I mean, uh, maybe not my feet. Not because I have, like, foot dysphoria, but just because my feet are gross. Amhari laughs breathlessly. Maybe I should be the judge of how gross your feet are. Hmm, I don't think we know each other well enough for you to be the arbiter of my feet. I think that's more of a second date thing. Hmm, okay, fair enough. We can wait on the foot stuff. That makes you laugh. For a small person, Amhari's arms have an unusual level of strength. He must work out. You want something to drink? I'm good. Ooh, Amhari's strong, okay. <laughs> well, I should have some water or I'll regret it in the morning. Okay. He sets back so suddenly that you almost pitch forward. Your heart is beating so fast that you can barely feel your legs. Like all the blood has been diverted elsewhere. Oh, I think I know where it's uh, diverted to. <laughs> 
<laughs> you jerk open the fridge unsteadily, fumbling several times before you manage to crack open a bottle of water. The tips of your fingers feel fat and clumsy. You catch a glimpse of your reflection in the window above the sink, the darkness shooting it back at you like a tennis serve. Your hair is a mess from the humidity in the club and again you have neglected to put on any makeup or do anything beyond very basic grooming you're a mess it's a good thing amhari hasn't given you a chance to turn any lights on because then he'd definitely start regretting coming home with you you feel sort of bad about tricking him into this but well you drown in your water or what you put the bottle down and go back out in the living room. Amhari is standing exactly where you left him, up against the wall beside the door. The shadows turn his features indistinct. Should... Should I put on music or something? What do you like to listen to? Actually... He pushes himself away from the wall. I find having sex to music kind of cheesy. Uh, oh, wow, okay, getting right down to the point, but why would he do anything else? It's not like there's any illusions between the two of you as to why he's here. <laughs> it's not like you'd need to be wooed or coaxed or anything stupid like that. Right. Amhari moves so quietly, you don't realize he's right behind you. He pushes you down on the couch. Ooh, and you go? <gasps> She falls after you, climbing into your lap. I like your eyebrows. You look at him. What? <laughs> he traces a finger across one, then the other. It makes you shiver in a not entirely pleasant way. I like them. It's such a pointed and weird thing to say about one very specific part of your body that you're, that you're routinely up in your feelings about, that for a moment you're convinced that he's some sort of plant. Your haters have sent this hottie to seduce you in a club that you've never been to before in order to hum humiliate you. It's such an absurd thought that it makes you laugh out loud. Yeah, yeah that's very absurd. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nobody cares enough about you to expend that sort of effort. Maybe for someone with Ashley's level of fame and parasocial engagement with their fan base, but not you. Besides, all the angsting you do over your eyebrow situation is purely internal. You're still laughing, and now Imhari is too, against your mouth as he goes in for another kiss. Ooh. Okay, this was a lot more spicy description than the first encounter. <laughs> and I love this. You don't set your alarm for the next morning. It's Saturday, right? And any time you need to wake up is purely self-enforced. Whatever. Hey. Uh. <laughs> Don't uh, at me. Your eyes are gummy with sleep. You peel them open, then immediately shut them again as light smashes into your retinas. Despite drinking water last night, your head still feels stuffy and a headache lurks behind one of your eyes. You okay? I have to get out of here, actually. You blink again, trying to remember exactly where you are and who this is. Right, right. Amhari, the person you met at the club and then brought home for surprisingly comfortable sex. He is completely dressed, hair looking a little rough, but there's not much to be done about that. Hey, hold on, let me... You don't need to get up don't worry about it he smiles you look tired seems like someone wore you out <laughs> oh my god someone huh and hari laughs and squeezes your hands here you hold out a hand until he realizes what you want and gives you his phone you notice he doesn't bother to password protect it i'll give you my number Something flickers over Imhari's face, and for a second, you're worried you've just violated some sort of phone privacy rule that probably exists, but you're too socially inept to know about it. But then Imhari smiles and saves your number to his phone. 
cool. I'll talk to you later. All right, cool. Okay, I guess Amari was okay with that. He goes. You lie in bed for a little bit longer, trying to convince yourself to get up and make coffee and dig around for some ibuprofen. Alex always tells you that you should eat when you take painkillers, but headaches always make you feel queasy. I mean, I don't blame them. Hey, dickhead, where the f are you? Oh my god. There's a whole bunch of text to that effect until one time stamped around midnight. Jesus, it took me 30 minutes to think to check my Discord messages. Why the hell didn't you just text me? Wait, you sent him a Discord message, not a text? Whatever, it's fine. Call me whenever you wake up. Oh, right, Alex. You pick up your phone to find a couple missed calls and a whole bunch of texts. You snort. Alex pretends that you annoy him, but he loves to act like your mom. The truth is, you'd message him on Discord because of this exact outcome. You didn't want him to get the message until you were already gone. Oh my god. He'd probably say the same thing that you were saying to yourself. This guy is probably a serial killer. And if he'd given you any resistance at all, you definitely would have turned Amhari down. Which would have been a mistake, because you had a really nice time, as it turned out. But what happened with the whole, like, what made you change your mind about Amhari? That's what I want to know. You fall back asleep halfway through typing a response back to Alex. When you wake up again, the sun is even brighter through the gap in your blinds, and you feel a little less like your brain is pounding to get out from the inside of your skull. Then it starts up again, because you realize your phone is ringing. Jesus. Hello? Anaya? Thank God, I was about to call someone to do a welfare check. What? Why? It's after 10. So? So, you've never slept that late in your life. Who are you, the sleep cops? F off. <laughs> I was tired. I thought that pretty guy might have murdered you. Well, he murdered something else. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> you, you, you hesitate. Oh, what the hell? He just f***ed me and left. Wait, just you then took off not like right then he left this morning it wasn't like a wham bam thank you ma'am sort of scenario <laughs> i haven't i have never heard anybody say that in real life oh my god i'm already regretting it so so what how was he you transferred a phone from one year to the other it's hot from charging, and it's making your neck sweaty. You hadn't been aware that you and Alex were talking about your hookup level friends, but you suppose you haven't hooked up with much of anybody since the two of you started seriously hanging out. Alex does casual sex, but he doesn't talk to you about it. You always assumed it was because he figured it was none of your business, but maybe he just didn't want to rub your face in it, so to speak. He was good it was good wow scintillating i don't know what you want me to say that he rocked my world did he i guess there's no hope for you an 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 anaya <laughs> that's mean why would you say that to someone when they aren't wearing any clothes you're not wearing any clothes no sh I was asleep, and as previously stated, I had sex last night. I always put clothes on afterward. Well, I guess you're just better at sex etiquette than I am. <laughs> sex etiquette? <laughs> you both laugh. Your brain is only half switched on at this point, so you can be forgiven for laughing at extremely half ass portmanteaus? Portmanteaus? I don't know that word. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I made you worry. It's okay. I should have checked my other message apps before I started flipping my shit. Were you really that worried about me? Kind of. You never go home with anyone. That's not true. I went home with Yolanda last week. Wait, what? 
She didn't tell me that. Did you f her too? Anaya, that is so f slutty. <laughs> I resent the implication in your tone. Having sex twice in a two week period is not slutty. Besides, we just hung out. She didn't tell you about it because there was nothing to tell. Mm hmm. Anyway, I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. I'll let you go. Talking on the phone is weird and I hate it. Yeah, I think I'm having an allergic reaction. Next time, at least FaceTime me. Bye. Bye, Naya. You snort and drop your phone back onto the bed. Alex definitely has no right to tell you how late you can sleep, but he's right that you haven't managed to sleep in, in this late for a while, at least since college. Maybe you should have sex more often. Oh my god. <laughs> Anaya. Hey, you, you wonder how long it will take Amhari to text you. He probably won't do it today. That would seem needy, even though you wouldn't mind if he did. It wouldn't seem needy to you. You're just thinking that... You're just thinking what would go through your mind if someone you slept with gave you their number. You wouldn't want M Amhari to think that he was your only option. Or maybe you would want him to think that? Is it rude to imply that you'd rather be f someone else? You're so bad at this. Anaya, <laughs> you get up and get dressed. Aware that almost half the morning is gone, not that you'd be doing anything besides f around on the internet and pretending to look up recipes while you watch bad Netflix dramas. Oh my god. That's your usual weekend MO when you don't have a stream planned. Instead, you're in the mood for something else. Do impromptu stream, stalk your crush. Oh my god. <laughs> do an impromptu stream or stalk, stalk your crush. Well, if you do an impromptu stream, then an Amhari may like contact us and, you know, do things. If we stalk Amhari, I think that's gonna be really weird. <laughs> Just like stalking Amhari. Oh, you know what? No, stalking may be bad because then we may like figure out like, oh, sh wait, Amhari has kids. Amhari has this, that, what, you know, and definitely Amhari doesn't want us to know things about that yet. I'm sure Amhari wants to slowly build that up. I'm assuming. Let's do an impromptu stream. How about that? Instead, you clean your whole kitchen and make a list of groceries you need for this upcoming week. In fact, you're feeling so good that you set up your tablet for an impromptu stream. You have the ingredients to make a couple things. You have no idea where this incredible mood came from. Well, you do, but you don't think it's just getting laid that has you in such a sunny and sparkling state. It's the fact that you set out to do something that scared you and succeeded. F unreal. Mm-hmm. Amhari doesn't message you for the rest of the day, but that's fine. In fact, you'd be a little surprised that he did. He doesn't message you the next day either, but it's Sunday. A lot of people are busy with family stuff and maybe church, though Amhari doesn't seem like the church type, but whatever. You don't get a text the next day either, but it's Monday and whatever job Amhari has is probably busy coming back from, from the weekend. You've got plenty of stuff to do. No text on Tuesday either. But that's only one day from Monday, right? You're not gonna sweat it. <laughs> Instead, you come up with a whole list of things you're going to cook for Amhari when you get the chance. He told you that he doesn't often have time to eat home-cooked meals. He'd mentioned he likes Italian food. Maybe you'll finally have time to make that gnocchi you've been, you'd been planning. By Wednesday, you think you know what's going on. Amhari probably can only hang out on the weekend. Maybe he has a really time-consuming and exhausting job and he doesn't know if it'd be cool to text you just to talk. Maybe he thinks you're only interested in hearing from him if sex is on the table. Wow. You really hope you hadn't given... You really hope you hadn't given him that impression. You'd really like the actual guy himself. Eventually, you break down and voice your fears to Alex. I'm worried I did something wrong. Do you think something happened to him? <laughs> I'm worried I did something wrong. I, I guess that's the most logical way. Like, I'm worried I did something wrong. I'm worried I did something wrong. Did I f up? It's been almost a week. 
Did he actually say he was going to get back at you? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure he did. I was half asleep at the time. Well, it might be something that you did, or he might just be... An <laughs> If it's something you did, well, whoops. But there's nothing you can do about it now. And if he's an then you're better off if he never texts you back. That's not helpful. Yes, it is. You just don't know it yet. Oh my god, Alex. Fine, I just really liked him. I know, it's a feeling. Why does anybody put up with this And That's a damn good question. So, you stop checking your phone compulsively every couple minutes. If he texts you, he texts you. You really should have asked for his number too, but you'd just be so convinced that he would contact you. He'd been so nice, so fun, smiling at you the whole time and just really seeming like he had a good time. By the time the weekend rolls around, you're only a little behind on work and you've only spent some time p p pinning away for a, a person you met literally one time. You don't even know his last name. You are a country song. <laughs> when Alex invites you back out, you jump at the chance. Partly so you're not just uh, sitting at home alone, and partly just because you need to prove to yourself that not getting a call back from a very cute person hasn't completely decimated your self-esteem. Because it hasn't. <laughs> when Alex pulls into the same club from last week, however, you feel a wave of fear and excitement. Oh, we're back. Oh, damn. Wait, why are we coming here? I o I always go here. Really? Yeah, almost every weekend. Wow, I didn't know you were such a social butterfly. Wait, why do you go to a lesbian bar? Because gender is a construct and because there's no cover on Fridays. <laughs> I mean... If it's free, it's free. <laughs> the club is exactly how you remember. Loud, crowded, and overpriced. You should have pre-gamed pre before you got here. The chances of you finding someone else to buy you a $12 cocktail are astronomically low. Well, you can just do what you did last time. Park yourself against a bar and... Oh, f There's M. Hardy. Oh, sh standing in nearly exactly the same place he was last time and chatting up someone who isn't you. Your heart thuds somewhere into the depths of your stomach, even as you berate yourself for being so needy. You need to get out of here. You'll call an Uber, whatever. You just absolutely know that you can't be here and anymore. Imhari looks up at you and makes eye contact. Oh, sh Ooh, for one hideous moment, you think he's going to pretend that he doesn't recognize you or even worse maybe he doesn't recognize you at all maybe he picks up enough people on a weekly basis that they all start to blend together but then he smiles and waves anaya hey how's it going you have no choice but to come closer now uh, hey amhari pretty good how about you good this is my friend Oh, woo, Mariello Donata Norvetti Ne Caligaris? Real estate agent? Keaton's mom? Who's Keaton? Who are you? <laughs> oh, damn. Milf alert. Imhari tells you the girl's name, and you're going to be completely honest here. It flies in one ear and out the other. You don't mean to be rude, you just don't care about her at all. You do your very best to make small talk until Imhari's new friend goes to the bathroom, or maybe to find someone else. You have no idea. You are hardcore not paying attention. So, hey, you never texted me. Oh, were you hoping that I would? You feel like you were going crazy. I mean, yeah. That's why I gave you my number. Right, uh... 
He removes his glasses for a moment. Sorry about that. I should have mentioned that right now, I guess I'm not... Not looking for anything long term. Amhari! What happened to the other universe, Amhari, being like, oh man, she's gonna be my wife. I'm gonna I'm a make her wifey. Like, what happened with that? Oh. You're not sure, but this actually feels worse than when you assumed he'd just forgotten about you. Or or decided you weren't good enough. Did I... Did I do something wrong? I mean... What? No, it... I am just... It's me, not you. He shakes his head. I know that's a cliche of a poor excuse, but... I know I'm not hot or whatever. You don't know why you said that. Wow, you're such a weirdo. What a place to be having this conversation. Amhari's eyebrows raise slightly. Why on earth would I have sex with you if I didn't think you were hot? What, ju just because you're not everyone's cup of tea that I can't be attracted to you? That, that gets tangled up somewhere in your brain, ascending back an error like a line of junk code. Wow, that, uh... That doesn't really make me feel any better. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be a dick, just... Just what? I don't like to lie to people. Okay, fine. You don't like me, that's okay. You hate how... Petulant you sound. Like a kid who's just been told they won't be getting dessert. I didn't say that. I like you fine, just... What? Just, you don't really seem like you like yourself. That hits you somewhere low in the chest. It builds upward into your throat. You can't cry here. You absolutely cannot cry. You would rather kill yourself than cry in front of Amhari. Thanks. Thanks for telling me. God, I'm so... Please, don't be embarrassed, a Anaya. I'm not trying to be cruel. I just... I have shit going on in my life right now. Like, the fact that my ex-wife is dating her soulmate and my kids love her too? That's not even close to my biggest problem right now. Do you really want to get mixed up in all that? You were spending so much time worrying about your own shit. You hadn't bothered to think about what sort of shit Amhari could be going through. Oh. Well, you're not sure if that makes you feel better, but it definitely makes you feel different. Slowly, the tension in your shoulders unknots. Okay, that makes sense. Sorry to be weird. I've had kind of a wacky month. Amhari laughs, laughs, too soft to hear under the music, but visible in the way his shoulders shake. <laughs> I get it, me too. The two of you talk until Imhari eventually gets pulled away by one of her friends. And for once, you don't feel a way about it. Ah! Lesbian seltzers! Ooh, uh, yes! Oh, is this a good ending? Is this a good ending? Please tell me it's a good ending. Did that? Oh, yes, it's a good ending. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, uh, yes. Okay, let's go. Mm. I'm getting better. I'm getting better with these endings. I'm slowly getting there, but I got a good ending for once. <laughs> Hello, Keaton. Ooh, hi. Keaton. Ooh, hi. Anyways. <laughs> Looks like it is time, guys. I know this is a little bit of a shorter episode than usual, um, but I am a little exhausted today. <laughs> but I enjoyed, I enjoyed this alternate outcome between um, Anaya and Amhari, but I'm kind of curious to see what the good ending is then with Amhari 
in this situation. <laughs> so I probably next episode, I'll um, go back to see what the good ending with Amhari is and then move on to uh, different dates with different characters to progress through, I guess, their different dates and stuff like that. <laughs> but thank you guys so, so, so much for joining me on this session. Hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.